Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 6, Section 1 in McDougall et al.'s 8th grade textbook entitled Solving Multi-Step Equations. Now last week we worked on a worksheet that involves solving multi-step equations. So you should already be familiar with a lot of the things that you're going to have to do here. You know, throughout the beginning of Chapter 6 we're going to cover all the different types of things you did. Then after that I'm going to hand back those worksheets after I've scored them once through give you a chance to fix your mistakes and increase your score. All right, the key to solving multi-step equations is to group like terms on one side. Now when I say group like terms on one side, I'm always going to put the like terms on the left. Okay. You can actually put them on either side, but I know from dealing with you guys over the years that most of you are good when I just say, just always put them on the left. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're always going to put the like terms on one side. And that means we have to get all the integers or constants on the other side, which would of course be the right side. Now, one thing that seems to have slipped some of you, slipped some of your minds here as we worked on this worksheet. Remember, if you want to move something to the opposite side, you have to do the opposite operation. But if you're just putting things together on the same side, you just do whatever it says. You don't have to do opposite operation when they're on the same side. So it's important to note to make sure you get that right, otherwise you'll miss a lot. Okay, in the second column there, we're practicing working with like terms. Remember, like terms are things with the same variable to the same power. That's the two important things about like terms. They have to be same variable, same power. So in that first one there, 5x plus 6 minus 2 minus 9x, the 5x and 9x are like terms. Again, that 5x and the 9x, really negative 9x because there's subtraction in front of it. Say 9x. The 5x and the 9x are like terms. 6 and 2 are what we call constants in this problem. We've discussed constants many times. It should be fresh in your head. Constants are lonesome numbers. Okay, no variable, no power, nothing funny going on there. Just a plain old number. All right, so part B there, you've got 8y plus 3x minus 1 plus 6y. 8y plus 3x minus 1 plus 6y. What are the like terms there? What is the set of like terms in part B? What are the like terms in part B? B, not example one, B. Oh, 8y and 6y? Right, 8y and 6y are the like terms because they both just have y. Okay, so now we can work on starting to solve equations here. As you can see, there's three different types of, or three unique types of problems we're going to solve today. As you can see, the first three, there's nothing fancy about those. Those are just plain old problems. Okay. Over here in this problem, all right, we're doing, working with the distributive property, which we worked with on the worksheet, so that should be fresh in your head. And then these last ones are ones where you have fractions on the left and the right side. And you had some kind of like that on the worksheet. Um, I'm not sure you had any like this one, but you did have some. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at example one. 3x plus 12 minus 4x equals 20. 3x plus 12 minus 4x equals 20. Okay, so remember, I want to group the like terms together on the left side. Again, my like terms are going to be the x things here because that's what makes them like terms. They both have x in them. So, 
Again, same side. So I just do whatever it says. 3x minus, see there's minus, minus 4x. Okay, 3x minus 4x, that's going to give me negative 1x. Haven't changed the 12 yet. I still got plus 12. And I still got equals 20. Okay, so I did the first thing I had to do. I put the like terms together. Now, the other step says to move the constants or the lonesome numbers to the right side. So that's the other thing I have to do. As you can see, 20, that's already on that right side, but the 12 isn't. So I'm going to have to move that 12 out of the way. Since it's going to go to the other side of the equal sign, I have to do the opposite. So I have to subtract 12. Do that, and I get negative 1x equals 8. So negative 1 times x equals 8. So now it's one step. You should be able to work with a one step equation by this point. Multiplication equation, the opposite is to divide. In this case, I have to divide by negative 1. And that'll give me x equals negative 8. 